What up, you guys? It's your girl, Lamilly Janae. And let me just say, it seems like it's been forever. So, I'm just going to say, I've been away. I've been moving. I had a big move come up. We bought a house. I am excited about that. And I had to take a little bit of time away. But I'm back with your hot topics for Monday, June the 15th ready to give it to you so um don't go nowhere stay tuned huh? Let me just say, one, I am so happy to be back in business with you guys. Excuse the um, glasses and the glare, my contacts hacking up. Excuse the hair, my hair appointment is tomorrow, okay? But I'm just happy to be back in a part of something. So great. And ready to deliver my hot topic news. All right, so before I even jump into anything, shout out to all the local artists who came out um, in the local uh, surrounding areas and was able to pull off a great, epic, breathtaking Black Lives Matter mural. That is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, talent all across the board. Um, I am enjoying my peoples in not only our community, but surrounding communities doing great things for our culture, continuing to fight for justice all throughout uh, the nation. So I'm down for that. Y'all, as we're continuing to fight, um, there is still, still just sadness that keeps ringing up. So on, I believe on Friday night, another black man was shot down by the police. A man uh, by the name of Rayshard Brooks. And y'all probably have heard of him in the Wendy's parking lot. Um, once again, the police are saying that he was a threat. Now, it was showing, it did show him run off with what appears to be one of the taser guns that the cop was trying to tase him with. But at the same time, friends, he's running off. So, it's, if he's running off, what threat is he now? What threat is he to you now? So I do believe the officer um, of that night was uh, let go. I do believe. I'm not going to go get my facts straight for that. But y'all, we have to do better. And then, um, I don't want to mess up her name, but the 19-year-old activist, Alu uh Salu, she and another lady, a 75-year-old lady by the name of Vicky Sims, was found... Um, deceased and it sucks because the person that they arrested for the murders of these two ladies was an african-american so was another black dude so i'm at this point i don't i'm not sure what his motive was i know she had recently um she had recently spoken out earlier about the assault uh being assaulted uh sexually assaulted and then she came up missing, and it's just sad that this is her ending. But we will keep her name alive and honor and uphold all the things that she stood and she fought for in her last days. Um, shout out to, on a brighter note, shout out to Ice Cube. He turned 51, um, rapper, actor, producer, y'all, greatness. So we continue um, trying to give people their flowers while they're living. And I definitely, Ice Cube is one of those ones who deserve it all. Um, It's not looking good for B. Simone. Now, as y'all know, a couple of weeks ago, um, it feels like it's been forever since I talked to y'all. A couple of weeks ago, B. Simone, uh, the, the community canceled her with her, what, what she had to say with protesting and all of that stuff. So now she is back in the media and it's not so good because just recently she came out with a book teaching us how to, uh, about manifestations, putting things into existence. Now I didn't go buy that book yet. I'm still reading Michael Todd relationship goals. Okay. Check this out as well. But, um, 
But it comes to find out that, and you know, that put her at a million. So she's, she hyped up. She became a millionaire. Her books were doing good. Come to find out, it's some people that saying, be Simone out here plagiarizing. Like she's taking full blown articles from like pages from magazine articles and put them in her book. I don't know about y'all, y'all. But we learn not to do that in like middle school, high school. That's called plagiarism, okay? But B. Simone said, y'all, it's not her fault. She said, now, this is what B. Simone said. She has stopped all sales of the books for now until she get this um, figured out. She said she's, she's just an influencer. She hired a team to help her put this book together. And I'm assuming they're the ones who went forward and did all of this. She didn't know anything about this, but this being her book and the face, let me put let me put Michael Todd down because he ain't got nothing to do with that. But this being the book, her book, she is willing to take full accountability. So, Bisa Ma, I'm going to pray for you because I know it's a tough time right now. She has a lot of her fellow friends that are sticking up for her, you know, but then you still got people that are saying, uh-uh, she's canceled. So, y'all, let's pray for her. Shout out on a good note. Let's end with some good notes because I don't want to end on a bad note. Um, Amanda Seals just recently announced the other day that she did not sign her new contract for The Real. Um, but she just announced, uh, she's still rising up because she has, will be the new host this year for the BET Awards. Now, some of y'all thinking that with all this pandemic and Corona, we, we didn't even know that the BET Awards needed a host for this year. Cause they, wasn't it going to be virtual or something, but whatever. She said she's a host. So shout out, boo, you making big steps. Um, congratulations to Pusha T. Him and his wife just uh, welcomed a nice, beautiful baby boy by the name of, don't let me mess up his name. I think it's Nigel Briggs Thornton. That is beautiful. And you know, uh, our folks are still being shady. They said he was quick to put his baby out and he did not go hiding him for about two years like Mr. Drake. But you know, I'm a mind the business that pays me. Y'all, I am so excited to be back in business with my no advisory hot topics. I'm glad to be bringing you your hot topics for the week, every Monday through Friday. Y'all check me out. Sorry for the whole, but thank you for being patient and waiting with me. That's all I got for today. I'm your girl, Lemily Janae, and I'll catch you tomorrow, Tuesday, back at it again. All right. Peace out.